attempt on one of these big items. He, he just has the stack to do it, and it has to be Mega Help. And if he doesn't get this Mega Help, which he's not going to, because Cypher's in the position, and, uh, well, this is a nice jump up from Cypher. Like I say, I was waiting for him to do it as well. Uh, he definitely is in the uh, stronger position in terms of, uh, you know, sort of personal feeling on his performance. From uh, the last two maps, in terms of aim percentages, anyway, but, uh, it was inevitable that he would make that uh, attempt. I don't think God perhaps would have expected it either. So two to what? Two to nil now. No one lost world and slowly, but surely we get into the uh, point of no return. And it seems odd to say it two frags, but it is uh, certainly a possibility. But we've got the red armor spawning in three seconds. Will God get it? The rocket was good from Cipher. He will uh, actually back away toward this mega elf, and I don't think he's going to be able to stick here as well. Out on top, actually. Yeah, here we go. Cypher's got the red armor. We'll make that rocket jump up. That's a nice rocket from Guard, though, taking uh, Cypher down to 39 armor. Uh, will Guard know how much armor he has to his name? That's the question. 100 to 65 for Guard, 135 to 64 for Cypher. But still, both players even. And again, it has to be about Guard picking up a mega health before you see him really pick up a frag. Checking for the uh, Cypher hiding spot again. This Definitely not going to be there. Now watch guard. Yeah. No. We see if he can do anything with this mega health. The challenge for it, knowing that if guard picks it up, that would give him that opportunity. Um, it will be uh, cipher to pick it up again. So uh, guard not really again going to be able to do anything for the next 35 seconds. But make sure he doesn't take a fight that he doesn't want to lose. Arm is going to cipher. Red armor as well. Again, guard doesn't have the time on the red armor. He'll have an approximation on the time of Mega Health, but the question is, will he set himself up maybe above Mega Health or even sort of below the uh, rocket launcher to try and push Cypher away? No, instead he'll find himself by that uh, upper yellow armor. Bit of uh, LG burst, but you know, again, not going to be in a position to challenge for this Mega Health. and It'll be a little bit longer before we see that happen. Perhaps waiting for the drop down before he makes his way out. Oh, is God going to challenge? No, he won't. The thing really changing for the past three minutes. So in, in some ways, this is bad for God, but in other ways, it's very good. Because God's not losing frags over it. And what's important, he wants to eventually make his comeback. This time, he doesn't have a time on Mega Health. Again, just approximation. There's a ballsy move to come in with a rocket launch. He's going to switch out to LG and rocket again. Actually, Cypher's not able to hit anything, but he has managed to uh, deal out enough damage. I just I don't understand why God chose to take the fight over there. He really, really needed that mega health, and he was doing so well out of control. Could have tried to back away. Now it's 4-0 to Cypher. Things are starting to look very dim with 3 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. That's a ballsy move with the rocket launch. He's doing a lot of damage. Put Cypher down to zero armor. Can God get on this uh, yellow armor though? That's the question. He needs to back away from the 50 first. And uh, it looks like he's not actually going to bother with it. He's going to go toward the red armor first. No, he will make the jump up. Is uh, Cypher be in a position for red? No, he won't. So good play from God. Knowing Cypher perhaps on the opposite side of the map. He may also get the mega health here. This could actually be the opening. That shotgun work by that upper yellow was brilliant. Providing he doesn't get knocked down to the lava by an unlucky rocket. Almost uh, there. Uh, he could actually find these frags. Two minutes, 40 seconds to do it in. Let's see if Cypher will be caught out of position. Lost world. It's going to be a difficult task to do. Seen him do ridiculous things. Grand finals on various maps. Arrow Walk against Kulo was one of them. And uh, the first ever QuakeCon, the Quake Live. They do it here on Blood Run. The last ever Zotac 144. We'll see. Switch on to Guard, who's uh, looking desperately to try and find him. Cypher there, relentless with that LG. Expected the jump up. He's only 17 HP. There's the frag. Can Guard now find him off the spawn? The red armor's coming up. He spotted him by the rocket launcher. The jump comes up. Cypher's going to back away toward the yellow armor. He knows it up as well. So that's going to at least save him for a little time. Two minutes, three frags. Cypher. What is he doing at the moment? He's currently by the shards and plasma. He needs to, well, he's, he's got everything he needs. Five rockets would effectively pick up the frag if uh, Guard was to push in aggressively. And with Cypher in these corridors with 75 armor, it's a good position to uh, play defensive in. You can see him reluctant to uh, fire off any more rockets as spam because now he's just got two. Uh, that five rocket ammo will help, though. 
100 to 75. Red Armour's just taken. Look at this. Saffin knows exactly where he's going. Brilliant rocket. The second and third one. Great. That fourth one was, but he will be gone to find the frag. One HP. The Mega Hill, thank God, is up for him. Can he find the spawn? Has the LG pushed into the Alaba? No, it hasn't. Saffin again is going to do that same move, darting back toward that yellow armor. The jump also came away. Thank God, toward that rocket launcher has uh, now picked up the yellow. Damage just trying to uh, keep guard low. There's the frag as well. Five to two. I think this could be a good game. He's now got that red 100 to 100. Will Cypher be taking it in three? This is just sort of all in out now for uh, guard as he tries desperately to find that frag. 50 seconds now remaining. The yellow's up. The 50 HP will probably be guarded by Cypher, who was in that location vicinity. No, he didn't opt to actually pick it up. And I got so you can sort of see he has to just go in for these frags, hoping that Cypher doesn't have enough ammo to deal with it, but that's not gonna happen. Final score looks like it's going to be six to two here in the last ever Zotac grand final number one hundred and forty four. Your champion is Cypher winning those one hundred Euros. Thanks to the Zotac for hosting all of these tournaments. I'm so glad I was able to jump in for the last ever one here on Holy Shit TV. It's nice to see you back streaming quite live again, Inferno. Thank you for having me on. Thank you to everybody who participated. And uh, thanks all of you for tuning in. Inferno. Yes, I, will, I would like to thank you as well for joining us. Uh, oh, you're Yes, you're your welcome. comment was uh, excellent and superb. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it pretty, pretty well for someone who hasn't been playing in a while, as you said yourself. I'm just glad we didn't see some of the newer maps, like Silence, and I, I say that in a, as positive way as possible, because I think Quake Live needs all the new maps he can get, so I'm, I'm glad we've seen some new ones come in, but yes. if we had seen that, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. <laughs> have, you, um, have you seen the Silence Duel uh, tournament? Uh, Unfortunately not, I that was yesterday, right? Yeah, Thursday, I think it was. Oh, Thursday. Uh, no, I haven't, but I'm going to check the VODs, I think. Mm -hmm. What is the general consensus of the map? Uh, well, there's people who like it, people who don't. Uh, in my opinion, and again, some coming from somebody who doesn't actually play a lot of duel, um, the map is pretty okay, but the yellow in the back... Yeah, I heard it was very open. Yes. I, I read that on ESR, people didn't like the red armor, yellow armor, because you can like basically rocket it from across the map or something. Yeah, and the concern was, before the tournament was played, that the red armor was way too open because there are uh, three ways I think three ways in and they, okay. are, and they are all railable from uh, quite a distance so as open as this blood run kind of open because this is an open red armor is it even worse than that I should probably load the map up and check um, well it, it's a different kind of open because um, with the, with the railgun on silence, you can just shoot from a very from a very uh, far distance. It, the, the map is very large. That's also okay. a concern. It kind of feels like um, there was a map that we saw in one of the dream hacks, I believe. Um, it was it made by the creator of Error Walk. Um, I forget what it is, Hub Hub Tawny or something. But um, that had a really open mega hill, but it thankfully had a lot of sort of um, ledges here and there to sort of block the rail angles. So maybe that's perhaps what it needs. Yeah different kind of bits of terrain here and there, different, maybe an additional floor so you sort of block one of the angles off and uh, I'll have to have to give it a go. Alright, I'm just gonna change the streaming page for a moment. Okay. Um, I guess the next uh, tournament on the list for Quake Live is gonna be QuakeCon. Yep, shortly. Um, I'm not sure, I, I did read that too good was perhaps going to do some Zotac style cups in the future. Mm -hmm. I saw I saw a Kickstarter page for um, I don't know who to uh, to, be to be able to go to the QuakeCon. Oh yes, um, I saw that as well. American guy. The thing, I thought that was kind of weird though because it, it sort of they they sort of push it to be Quake Live style coverage to the Quake Live guys in ESR, but when you read the the post it seems to be they're doing, they're going to cover all games. I don't think it's a bad thing. That's really cool, but yeah. um, like people don't get the wrong opinion of it because it's not just going to be Quake Live. It's going to be all the other BYOCs like the Tribes BYOC and uh, a lot of other things as well. So. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool if people wanted to see stuff from the BYOC, which we don't really see enough coverage of. So they, they should donate. It would be uh, not donate, but you know contribute. It would be uh, cool to see. But uh, I'm looking forward to it really. And hopefully it won't be the last QuakeCon as well. I'm sure we'll see many in the future. And another dream hack as well, I hope. Yes, 
yes. But are you planning to uh, stream more Quake Live now? I'm trying to. I'm trying to, yeah. but um, you know, I need to find time for it. Yeah, it's understandable. I'm a married man, of course. Yeah, it's funny. Um, I I I sort of like um, listen to the Dignitas Shootmania guys try and organise their their team, and one of the players has now got um, engaged to to his uh, fiance now, and uh, it's they, it's so difficult to get him on. It's just like yeah, life just takes over. Yeah, the gaming, it seems. You know how you know women. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in that situation yet where I'm uh, engaged or anything, so I'm okay. But it's 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 just due time now. <laughs> it's getting to that point. Yeah. That's good. So you got a girlfriend, and you've been together for a long time, and she's trying to hint to, to get married or something. Yeah, you know it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know when it's going down. Yep. Yeah. yeah. See so you quite live. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good to see you back streaming at least when you can. Um, the more streaming, the better. I level up to a fantastic job, and uh, having holy shit as well just promotes uh, not good competition because it's not really competition. And I, th I saw um, a few posts where people were giving negative thoughts toward holy shit and things, and I was just like, holy shit, did some of the most awesome streams ever. The picture in picture, you had an awesome website as well with fantastic like you had details on how to people could set up their config and little guides and tutorials here and there. It was really a great resource back in the day. I never really understood any of the negativity really. Mm -hmm. yep. Nice to see you. And I'm currently you working on trying to get everything freshened up. Um, yep. I have to say about that config generator that you just said, uh, last knife <laughs> uh, just happened to have taken it down. <laughs> Uh, this week because shame. it was uh, it was way 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 too outdated and people were still trying to make configs and then it broke their quake and uh, so it was probably for the best that he took it down yeah because yeah, so many more yeah it was a lot of work as well to just uh, to update it and he d didn't really have time but when it was there and working it was awesome that's yep. for sure. definitely helped quake live to get to where it is that's for sure mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll, I, will, I will leave you then. Uh, thanks again for having me. It was awesome to cast the grand final. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you around uh, on IRC and stuff. Yes, definitely, definitely. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, no problem. And I'll see you all later on. Thank you. Yep. Bye. -bye. User disconnected from your channel. Okay, so that was the very last SOTA Cup. Um, I'm going to wrap up the stream. And. Uh, as NVZ said, I will try to uh, stream a lot more games, but uh, we'll have to see when I will be available then. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Holy Shit TV.